Well, welcome everyone to the Year 9 Virtual Options Evening. And today I have the pleasure of telling you a little bit more about the fantastic opportunities that could await you um, from September should you decide to study the Creative iMedia National Certificate. So I guess firstly, you're probably thinking, well, what is the Creative iMedia National Certificate? Well, hopefully this image really kind of captures a lot of the things that we explore and think about. And as you can really see here, essentially what we have is a subject which equips students with a really wide range of knowledge and skills needed to work in the creative digital media sectors. Um, what you'll do essentially is you'll start at pre-production, so you'll be conceptualising new ideas for products, and that could involve new video games, it could potentially be new apps, um, even new ideas for short films and advertisements. And from those ideas, you'll nurture them, develop them, and develop the skills necessary to carry them through across a range of practical assignments as you create final multimedia products of your own. Now, the certificate itself is conducted and carried out by three specialist members of staff, and we feel that this is a real strength to the Creative Eye Media Certificate because you get a really broad range of knowledge and skills to boot. So, for example, myself, Mr. Ryland, will be carrying through an exam unit with you, but also teaching you more about film production and TV production. Mr. Bell specializes in computer programming and coding, and he will be helping you to develop your knowledge around developing a video game concept. Um, Ms. Licorice Coleman is a specialist in graphic design, and you'll be using a wide range of software uh, with that particular teacher in order to prepare you for the industry of graphic design work. Now, a little bit more on the units themselves. Um, the way that the, the course is structured in order to get the certificate in Creative Eye Media, um, it requires you to complete four units of work, one of which, as you can see here, Unit R081, um, is a pre-production skills unit, and this is an exam. Um, the good news is, though, for, for particularly for students who maybe fear exams, is that you've got three additional units which comprise of coursework, and these break down as follows. You have Unit R082, which is creating the digital graphics, uh, which is set against a particular brief. Um, unit R089, which in, enables you to make a digital video of your own, again, set to a particular brief, and usually this will require you to produce something fit for an advertising campaign, such as a TV spot or commercial. And then finally, you have Unit R092, which is creating digital games, and again, you will plan and design and conceptualize and make um, a game proposal for a client. So a really wide range of options and possibilities within what we study and that just, again, skills you up really for a foundation in a particular industry that you might like to specialise in beyond this particular stage of your learning. The really great thing about this course um, is the range of software platforms that you get to use and will learn. Um, for example, Final Cut Pro is something that we use on IMAX at school. And this will enable you to produce video trailers and uh, film content of your own. Um, and this is widely used within the industry. So the good thing is, is that you know, at a very young age, you're getting hands-on with the very things that you would potentially develop as part of your career aspirations further down the stretch. Also, Adobe Photoshop, which is another very popular and uh, universe, um, universally used program to develop graphic design work is also used within this course and that alone is, is a fantastic product but we actually do use other design products as well including Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Bridge so you'll again be really prepared for a wide range of software uses that you might encounter beyond the national certificate uh, in later life. And also as well, Mr. Bell will be taking you a wide range of computer uh, video game based software to enable you to create products and game designs of your own from uh, belt scrolling, 2D uh, pixel based artwork to more polygon based affair as you might see in some of the more recent video games, um, uh, for example on, on the platforms that we play today, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch and of course um, applications on uh, mobile devices and tablets. 
So if you're a gamer and you're into movies and you're into TV and you're into advertising and social media, then this very well is the course probably for you. So just a little bit more about that breakdown. I think this is, like I say, the real strength of the Creative Eye Media course. It's the breadth, it's the range, but it's that focus on the coursework here. As you can see, 75% of the course comprises of coursework and 25% is reserved for the exam. And uh, that's a real bonus, I would say, because if you're the kind of learner that is very creative, likes to manage time and workflow, and likes to put a lot of effort into pieces of work, then the coursework is a real strength. So not everything is resting on that final exam, which I think is a real benefit. But we do assess things as we go along, which is good. You can kind of, if you like, bank your points as you go. Um, so that modular kind of setup is, is a real asset to the course as well. So what kind of learners are we looking for? Um, are you the right kind of person for this course? Well, I've already alluded to the fact that if you've got a really strong interest and engagement in the broadest sense of the world of digital media, then I would imagine this potentially is a course for you. Um, if you've always wanted to kind of maybe design your own video game, maybe you've got a great idea for making a, a new product or a film, TV production, if you're really creative in that sense, this is absolutely the course for you. Um, students who really enjoy planning, collaborating and creating original ideas, seeing them through from paper to actual practical concepts, this is definitely a course for you in that sense. Um, and as I've already alluded to, if you feel that your strengths are more in that kind of longer term creative process to kind of adapt and refine your ideas and carry things through in a coursework sense, then the Creative Eye Media program is a real, real strength in that regard. But the main thing we're looking for, uh, this final point here, is students who have a really good work ethic, students who can manage long pieces of work. Um, when you're uh, investing a lot of time and energy into creating a project, time flow and workflow is really, really fundamental. And it's important that not only can you collaborate with people, but you can really work alone independently at times to carry a project through. And that's something which we can nurture in you, but also you've got to ask yourself, are you the kind of person that would want to work in that way at times? Because that is something that is required in this course. Where can Creative Eye Media take you? That might be maybe a question you're considering. And, and I think you should, when you're thinking about your options, you need to think about where can this take me in the future? Well, the really good thing is, I mean, obviously in the times that we live right now, there's lots of uncertainty in the world, but there's then lots of opportunities. And with challenges come lots of new adventures for people to embrace. So the good thing about Creative Eye Media is it's positioned really quite well in the market right now. There's lots of growth still in the creative media sectors, uh, particularly in the UK. So if you're thinking maybe a bit further down the road here that you might like to develop a career in graphic design or marketing new products, uh, particularly in the digital age, then this is absolutely a great foundation course for you. If you've got an interest in software development, that might be designing new apps for tablets and mobile phones. It might be games as well. Um, of a variety of kinds and on a variety of platforms, then again the Creative Eye Media course is a good foundation for that. I've already alluded to the fact that some people will opt for this course because they really want to get into the world of television and film production. And it may well be that you use the Creative Eye Media course as a foundation to go on to study perhaps film studies at A-level or maybe even go on to university to study TV and film production like many of our students at Cleve School have done and rather successfully. And some of those now are working for uh, TV networks including Sky Sports and the BBC amongst others. Advertising is uh, something we cannot escape from every single day. Our mobile phones and devices are being bombarded by animated GIFs and banners and video content, well that has to come from somewhere and there's a whole creative design team behind these things. So the Creative Eye Media um, course is absolutely preparing you for a future world where the digital is absolutely fundamental to everything that we do. And with that of course comes the power of social media, be that Instagram, Facebook or maybe some of the messaging serving applications like WhatsApp, maybe Signal and Telegram. All of these applications are of course are using digital platforms and digital design to get their products known and out there. 
If you can see yourself being part of that world in the future, again, the Creative Eye Media National Certificate is definitely a course worthy of your consideration. Now, if you have any further inquiries about this subject, if there are things that you still would like a little bit more insight on, um, please do not hesitate to get in contact with any of the members of staff who will be teaching you on this fantastic course next year. So here are the contact details. Um, if you have a specific question related to perhaps one of the units, so film production and um, maybe the graphic design or maybe the computer programming, just consider what I said earlier on and maybe contact those individual teachers to get that specialist information brought to you. Well, thank you for listening and um, I really wish you the best of luck in your decisions when it comes to choosing your options and let's hope I see many of you in the very near future. Thank you for listening.